welcome back to commercial constructix i'm going to do a walkthrough of an ongoing project this is the restaurant tenant fit out the first thing we would want to do is the underground plumbing to achieve that we needed to trench out where the uh, the piping system would be laid we used a hydro vac truck to achieve these trenches the trenching is 90 to 100 percent complete in this image and then we move straight to laying the pipe for the underground plumbing system. The two strings that you see hovering above my plumber is where a wall will be installed. The plumbers need to know this so they can put any in-wall plumbing in those walls uh, that they don't exist yet, but they will exist. We use those strings to, di to dictate where a wall will be. As you can see in this image, we have four vents coming up in that wall um, and then we also are going to have a toilet, a sink, and a floor drain. One of those is going to be a sink, which I actually forgot to denote in that image. This is uh, towards the end. That's going to be a clean out in that location. And this is another bathroom where you're going to have a toilet, a sink, a floor drain, and three vents in the wall. And one of those pipes in the wall is actually going to be for the sink. Over here, we're going to have a mop sink, we have a floor clean out, and then we have a drain for the condensation for the refrigerator. Moving to the structural side of the project, we have a DOAS system, which is a makeup air system that goes on the roof. Because of the system's weight, we had to reinforce the, the trusses of the existing building. What you just saw was the reinforcement effort uh, designed by the architect and the engineer for us to uh, support that DOAS system. We sandwiched plywood on both sides of the trusses and added um, a bottom cord and a top cord to the trusses. Back to the plumbing system, we will backfill the trenches with pea gravel, as you'll see in this video. And then after that, we also verified that all in-wall plumbing is in the correct location and places uh, with those strings that were pulled to locate where walls will be built. Once the underground plumbing has been backfilled with peak gravel, the next thing to do is pour the concrete slab. The first thing we need to do is install the moisture barrier or the vapor barrier, which is this uh, plastic uh, tarp sheet. And we lay it down neatly, tape it at its joints, and tape around any uh, penetrations. Um, this will prevent moisture from seeping up uh, to the bottom of the concrete slab. As you can see, uh, the, the concrete crew has installed this vapor barrier over the whole entire floor and so now you have gravel and then the gravel and now the uh, vapor barrier and that's the end results to that uh, the next step will be to pour the concrete the next day we'll come out with the concrete crew they have a pump truck we this will use about three trucks of concrete i don't know the exact yardage to pour this slab they the concrete truck will unload the concrete into the pump truck and the pump truck will pump the concrete in as you see with the man in the black is controlling the pump hose and then we have four other guys uh, moving the concrete as they move it they'll also start leveling the concrete um, they use two by fours or leveling rods to uh, level it and they'll shoot it with a laser to make sure it's level or at correct finish floor height um, as they progress, uh, they'll just keep mat matching the existing level and keep shooting it with a laser to make sure the height of the floor is consistent through the whole building. That is it for this update. Uh, check back in and I will keep updating for this project.